Hey, how goes it? So I've managed to get myself up from the bonfire by resetting the game. Uh, unfortunately, resetting the game puts you back at the bottom of the queue for PvP and PvE. So there's no summon signs for players. So we're going to try and do this on our own. Well, Mildred will be there, but we're doing a lot of damage now, as you can see. Uh, I'm not totally worried about it. So, this will be fun. This is going to suck for anything that gets in our way. Unfortunately, now we are heavy rolling. So our, we're medium rolling. So, it's a little bit slow going. It's another large shard. Uh, there's normally an NPC here, but we have to get her... See, they turn around because normally she's sitting right here. But we have to uh, kind of unlock her. We have to upgrade our pyromancy as high as we can get it. And then she'll show up. Oh damn it. That's not what I was hoping for. That's okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Probably could have waited to heal, but that's fine. Let's get through the swamp. There we go. Alright, so as you can, uh, you, you, you guys know what we're going to go fight. We failed against her once a little while ago, so that's fine. That freaking lava wasn't there, it would have been fine. But we've got a lot more damage now, so I'm not too, too worried about it. There's always a message here, what is this? Miracles ahead? I don't know, but sure. Some Mildred. We want to make sure she gets here because if you go through a fog gate without your phantom, your NPC phantoms, they their pathing gets messed up and they end up messing up sometimes. So wait for them to pop up. It's just a glitch that I've noticed once in a while. Okay, are you there? Yeah, she's there. Okay, let's go. Alright, no cutscene this time because we've already kind of, I guess, unlocked her. Let's see what her damage is now. Oh yeah, much better. We're just going to take a sip. That should clear the way from Mildred. Usually there's only... I don't know. Oh, Mildred. This way. Wow, she's completely, like, entrenched herself there. Okay, yeah, there we go. Let's let Mildred do a little damage, hopefully. Go on, hit. You just hit her in the foot. That explosion is really, really annoying. Come over it. Actually hit. There, she got a hit. In. Oh, lava. Come on. That's another attack that's really annoying. She shoots embers off of her body. Oh my god. That'll do it. I should have been using the strong attack more. I love giant axes. You guys know this. Well done. Alright, 20,000 souls for pretty much free. Now, this is an interesting place. This is the entrance ruins to an old city which we'll check out more in a minute actually you can probably see some of it down there uh, there's the wall to the city some ruins of it down there we're gonna, we're gonna check that stuff out later let's pull this lever so this is the second bell of awakening
remember, when you pull both of the uh, Bells of Awakening, something happens. That's all we know. Brilliant, right? So this is what happens. When that guy hears that both the uh, bells have been rung, he pulls the uh, that chain and it lifts the gate to the fortress. And he'll just kind of... There you go. Open the door for us. Now, we're not going there yet. We have other things to do down here that will save us time later. First, we're going to go over here. I forget where it is, but I think it's here. Yes. All right, there. So, um, there's this guy, Stock Dam. Oh dear, what have we here? Are you a new servant? Yeah, totally. You have no eggs. No matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. Of course. He moves very, very slowly. Um, so this is the fair lady. Uh, we're gonna rest this bonfire because we're gonna need it later. So that's fine. Um, she doesn't talk. She does if you have a specific item. But she asks if you want to join her covenant and she'll reinforce your SS class. She's actually a firekeeper at the bonfire right behind me. Uh, she has an incredibly depressing story. Uh, she's, as you can tell, really, really messed up. She's stuck in the wall and she's very sick. Um, so yeah, we'll worry about her later. But we mainly came here because we need that bonfire. Um, when we get the ability to warp between bonfires, this is a very handy bonfire to have. It saves us a long run. So, that's a good thing. Uh, actually, you know what? Before we go out there and probably lose our souls, I'm going to kindle... Oh yeah, it's already at 10. I forgot about that. Uh, and we're going to level up. Eh... Uh... I still don't know what to get. I'm gonna go with more endurance for now. That'll do. Some Vite definitely wouldn't hurt, but I play cautiously, so I'm not so worried about Vite. Unless I'm YOLOing, in which case I'll probably just die a few times. It's not really that big a deal, it's Dark Souls. Literally called Prepare to Die Edition. Uh, I need to free up a couple pounds. I'm just going to take off my weapon for now. We'll go back to this for a couple minutes. Um, yeah, we'll just light this right now, too. And kindle it a little bit. Whoops. Please don't glitch. Okay, thank you. Sit down. Kindle. Yes. There we go. Sit back down. Lead bonfire. Um, you can already see the boss that we're going to be fighting over there on the right. This will be fun. We're going to go over here, and there's actually an interesting trick. Ooh, my dog's barking. Probably hear her. So... Uh, I want you to look at this. There's a big moat full of lava, which if you look carefully, those are all tourist demons just kind of standing in the lava. They do that. Um, over here, there's a gap near the fog gate. That's important to remember. Also, that's the entrance to the lost city of Isolith. Isolith? I forget which. Um, and there's a capra demon down there. You can see him. But yeah, remember that there's a gap there. That's going to be very important for this boss fight. Gonna sprint down here. I 
This is not one of my favorite boss fights, I will say that. Um, it has the potential to go horribly, horribly wrong. That being said, it can actually go very, very smoothly if you're lucky. Uh, the important part is that you're fast, and I am pretty fast right now, so... Let's see how this goes. There's a path that way and a path this way. They circle around to the same place, so it doesn't matter tremendously. The other path is a little faster. So that's the boss. Um, his name is Ceaseless Discharge. He is not actually hostile right now. His story is he's one of the brothers in the Chaos family, the Sisters of Chaos. Um, and he was burned, apparently, as a child or something. And to try and heal his wounds, they gave him a ring of some magical properties, and it, uh, it was supposed to help him. Uh, instead it mutated him into a giant fire demon and cut off his arm, which turned into a centipede demon, which we'll see later. Um, he's kind of messed up, but he's interesting. Uh, over here is one of his sisters, who is dead and presumably sacrificed, and he watches over her. I'm gonna rob her grave. He is now pissed. Please don't attack me yet. Okay, that's the attack I wanted you to use. I'm going. There's a good chance of us dying right here. Okay, we're good. Go, 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 go. There's another good chance of us dying right up here. Nope, we're okay. Not for long, though. We gotta keep running. We gotta get back to the fog gate as fast as we can. We can't go through the fog gate, but we need to get over there. And he is pissed, and he is chasing us, and I am stuck on terrain. Gotta be getting close. I wanna watch him, though, because it's cool. Oh! So, he just leapt to try and get us. He's hanging over that gap now. And he is helpless. I'm gonna hit him in the hand until he loses his grip. Come on, give me my stamina back. There he goes. That is the easy way to beat Ceaseless Discharge. And what did he discharge? Lava. He constantly spewed lava out of his body. And now that there's no constant flow of lava, it all dries up. And now we can walk down there. I'm not going to because that's an end like end game zone, but we got that boss out of the way the easy way. And on the first try, which is nice. It's really annoying when you end up pulling him because you've robbed that corpse and then he aggroes the second you walk through the door, but he won't actually make the jump unless you go back up to the altar and come back down. That's a lot of Taurus demons. I don't want to fuck with those right now. Although I really want one of their axes. So we might have to go get that later. Because I really want one of those axes. It's one of my favorite weapons in a strength build. And right now this is more or less a strength build. Although I might, depending on what we get, and if I want to use server, end up going... Uh, a strength dex kind of quality build. Uh, we're gonna go back to the big axe just so we can crush things as we come up to them. We're not gonna actually need it for a while but uh, we have it so that's a good thing. Oh, and we should spend some of these souls while we're here. Um, where do we want to go next? We can go to Sen's Fortress. That's probably where we should go. But it isn't necessarily where we have to go. I want to maybe... No, yeah, we'll do that later. Level up. Uh, how much? So if I get two more levels on attunement, I can get a fireball. Let's do that. That sounds like an idea. Um, and I'm just short on leveling again. Let's just use a soul. Uh, da -da -da -da. This one... I think this is the... Yeah, that's a 400. That's good. That's what we needed. Um... 
more endurance, maybe a little. Yeah, that'll do. We could put on the Ring of Favor and Protection, but I don't really care right now. Um, if we put it on and take it off, it'll break. And I don't know if I want to dedicate this build to using that ring right now. It's nice. It gives us 15% more endurance and vite and stuff like that. But I don't know if that's what we want. Because um, I don't know if I'm going to go vite on this build. Well, while we sprint, let's have a look at our weapon options. Um, server would be cool, and we only really need a couple more decks. Uh, I've never actually used server successfully. It's not a great weapon, but it's pretty cool as far as like lore and stuff goes. Oop. I dropped down to two frames there for a second. Am I going the right way? I am. Uh, the Ido is going to take 20 decks, so we could do that theoretically. Um, there's a gargoyle tail, which not really a great weapon either, but I don't care if it's an amazing weapon. I just kind of want to use stuff. I'm not certain where I am. Okay, I'm still going the right direction. Um, that's all we got for now. I really want to get maybe a Murakoto, or the big curved sword that the giant skeletons have. Yeah, I think I've decided. I'm going to go with a little bit of dex, too. First, we need to get through the swamp. Let's just mash roll. Kill this thing real quick, and we're gonna keep going through here. And I'd like to get back to this bonfire before ending this episode. Actually, I'd like to get back up to um, Firelink before ending this episode. We killed two bosses, which is pretty good. It's good progress for uh, under 20 minutes, so. There, he's dead. Let's get to this here. Sit down real quick. Stand up. Next place. Getting up to Firelink. We're dead. You know what I think I'm going to do, actually? I think... I'm going to go join the Forest Covenant and do some PvP in one of these episodes. I have not done PvP in a few days, and I haven't done it at all on this character, and I think it'd be fun. I'm not amazing at PvP, I tend to try and make things more challenging than just murder people for the fun of it. It's the same as like my Mighty Quest mentality. Um, I know I can win if I'm being as cheap or as effective as possible, and I've played enough of the game to know how to do that. Instead, I want to give people a fun time. So that's what I tend to do. Even if I'm using underpowered gear or whatever. I just try to make things entertaining for people. So I think I will probably do that. Um, oh wait, I want that gear over there. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go for it. Ooh, someone used a bonfire. Uh, it's down there. Let me just go this way, it's easier. Missed him. Apparently I killed a mosquito at the same time. That's cool. Let me just drink this. This branch kills so many players. Mainly on the way back. There's a tiny piece of geometry that you get stuck on, and it just it kills everybody. There's no good reason for it, it's just not smooth geometry, so people die there. Uh, let's see, I want this, the Mask of the Sealer and the Crimson set, and there's a Sorcery Catalyst, which I really don't need, but I'm taking anyways, and a Sorcery Remedy. It cures poison and I think toxic as well. Now, let's try and brave this ledge. I hate this ledge. Also, I kind of want to see what that says. Ooh. What's this say? Comfort? I don't think so. 
Oh, the mosquito nearly fucked me up. Damn it. There you go. 501 damage. I'm okay with that. Let's go this way. Come on. Let's make it across. Oh, I think they might have smoothed it out because that was a lot easier than it normally is. Let me go up here. And... The dangerous parts are all over. I really want to join the Forest Covenant. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to join the Forest Covenant. That way I can get Shiva as a merchant. And we can talk to Shiva. He's he's pretty cool. He's kind of kind of crazy and kind of evil. But he's pretty cool. Uh, also, I want his gear, so that might be a thing that happens. Um, oh. Frame rate issues. Yeah, I can't figure out what's going on in the background, but something's making it... Something's making specifically Fraps freak out a little bit when I'm recording this. But it seems to be okay. It's manageable. As long as you guys get a decent show. Alright. Let's see here. I want my shield, please. There we go. Let's see how close we can get to killing this guy in one hit. Pretty close. Give me a club. Yes. Dung pies. Definitely not what I needed. I wonder if you can parry these. The answer is yes. <laughs> yes, you can. Well, I messed up that parry, but still killed him. Whoop, dung pie. Anything? Nothing. Alright, well, that was, yeah, definitely not the best time to actually test out whether or not you could parry those, but it worked. So, that was a thing. Um, let's see. Let's just get up to... You know, rather than getting up to Firelink, I want to go this way and show you guys something that's cool. So this is like a little used area. It's a good shortcut if you're looking for specific things, and I didn't even see that guy the first time I ran up here. I just thought he was part of the mountain. But if you go up here, you see this big thing. Really, I just thought it was part of the mountain at first. And then there's this. It's a big ass dead dragon. Now if this doesn't say, hey, this is a trap, I don't know what does, but if you walk over there and you take those things, well, it's just... Whew, somehow I didn't get damage from that. So his legs fell off just now, and he's just a torso kind of hanging onto the side of the cliff. Um... I don't know the best way to kill him, because normally I just fireball him to death or shoot him with arrows, because getting up there in that poison is never cool. But, I mean, that's just some cool shit. That is interesting and neat level design. So, we got what we needed. I don't even remember what that last thing is, but I'm not particularly worried about it. I just wanted to get the straight sword and the uh, shield. Let's see. How is the shield, anyways? Uh, it's really good fire resistance, but the rest of it's kind of crap. Um, let's see, what's it say? Shield of a Nameless Knight, likely a high-ranking, or a high-ranked knight of Astora. Uh, one of the enchanted blue shields, uh, the Dragon Crest Shield, is greatly, greatly reduces fire damage. So, not a huge story item. Uh, let's check out the sword real quick and call it an episode. Unless everything wants to freeze on me. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. A uh, straight sword of an unknown, not unknown knight. Likely one of Astora's superiors. Uh, high quality weapon with blessing power. It actually scales with faith. Uh, when I build a faith build, this is usually one of the weapons I go for first. Uh, it's, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. It's got 3C scaling. Uh, it does magic damage. 
and um, I think it messes up the skeletons in the catacombs really, really good. Uh, I recommend picking it up if you manage to, uh, or if, if you go this way and you're using swords. And your face builds, because face builds are underrated. So, next time, I am completely on. Oh no, you know, I, I know what we're gonna do. We, we're gonna go straight to the forest. We're gonna join the forest covenant. I'm gonna show you guys around the forest. And, uh, maybe we'll kill one of the bosses in the forest? I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. But, uh, it'll be fun. It's Dark Souls. It's always gonna be fun. Next time.